If you just step into the world of custom ROMs and you're looking for a stable and smooth build, then the most common name that you will hear will be Lineage OS. But as a result of such smoothness and stability, Lineage OS takes a lot of time to bake for a device. Now here's when an unofficial build of Lineage OS comes to the rescue. So this is a really quick walkthrough of LOS 15.1 for the Redmi Note 3 slash Kenzo. Hey what's up guys, Bushan here from Red Boy Expert. With that being said, let's get started. As this is an unofficial build, do not expect any kind of OTA updates from the developer and all the required links can be found down below in the description so don't worry about that. Now as Lineage OS is known for its performance and stability, you won't get any fancy tweaks like the one found on the Reinstruction Remix but the overall stability makes up for the lack of customization options. Even though as this is a stock ROM, you still get some nifty customizations to play around with like navigation bar tweaks, button tweaks, status bar customizations and lastly full battery profiles. That's all you get in terms of customization abilities. So as Lineage OS is a completely stock ROM, you won't get any kind of bloatware and even the performance is really good considering it's an unofficial build. There is no lag in opening and using of apps, even the animations are refined and there is no lag in using the fingerprint sensor like the one found on Havoc OS. All the basic things like VoLTE, fingerprint sensor, camera etc works like a charm. So you won't get anything to complain about in terms of stability. And speaking about performance, Lineage OS takes that box as well. You can also play all the higher end titles like PUBG and Asphalt 9 without any hiccups whatsoever. Now Lineage OS also has support for modded Google camera applications. That means you can get the most out of your camera module with the help of some modded Google camera apps. Here is a quick comparison of why the Google camera application is far better than your stock camera app. A dedicated video on the best modded Google camera app is coming real soon so make sure you stay subscribed. Now let's talk about some caveats that I found in this unofficial build. The number one being the average battery life. Now don't get me wrong, the battery life is really good but the standby time on this ROM is pretty average. I usually get a standby time of around 1-2 to two days with normal use and around 1 day or more with heavy usage. Which is not bad by any means but considering the 4000mAh of juice that the Redmi Note 3 packs inside, it kind of feels on the lower side of the spectrum. Either way, this is still an unofficial ROM so we can't complain much about it. All the required links can be found in the description down below so make sure you flash it. With that being said, I'm our boy Spurt and I'm signing up.